hostile civilian targeted. I need new fights in the best. P jammer detected nearby. Oh! 
What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 build video. Today's video is going to be a solo chameleon build for all kinds of content, whether it be legendary, challenging, or heroic. Now, I wanted to make this build because the chameleon is a very popular weapon. It's very, very powerful, and especially using this build right here. Now, I don't normally use the chameleon, and I haven't made videos about it due to its lack of accuracy from longer ranges. When I use an AR, I like to make sure I'm hitting from long range. But I have catered to that and actually mitigated it through using close range talents and making sure we get up close and personal to the NPCs. So we're going to go through this now. You can solo Legendary Summit quite easily with this build. We have high armor regen, huge weapon damage with multiplications and very high critical hit damage as well with maxed out crit chance. Uh, we also have a very strong defender drone and I'm going to show you guys why in a second. The specialization I have opted for is Firewall due to its nice armor kit and strong shield that gives me weapon damage. You can use this build in a team or solo, but preferably solo with the way I've set this up. Now, this will also give your teammates more damage. Make sure you guys do stack uh, assault rifle damage here. Don't forget, I always do that. You can use gunner specialization if you would like to have more armor on kill or technician if you want to make your shield stronger. Artificer Hive just has to be on your character and it will automatically send the drones to go and regen your shield. Uh, Demolitionist would be great if you are in a team and you want to use this with your teammates. We're not going to be using any other, or well, I wouldn't recommend any other specializations, but it's completely up to you. Let's take a look at the build. So we can get our armor regen to just under 70k, about 68,000 armor regen, which will help us a lot to stay alive. That's due to the a backpack i'm sure you guys are aware of the memento it's very powerful and then whenever we pick up a trophy we get short-term and long-term buffs and we also get intimidate so intimidate is multiplicative it's a huge amount of weapon damage then also the chameleon stacks up and then we also have high critical hit damage due to the chameleon and the way we're stacking on this build armor damage and like i said before good regen and we are quite tanky but we can hit just under 700k a shot so it's pretty good. So let's take a look at the chameleon itself. Now, this is what the build's based around. So, we, uh, well, the attribute is critical hit chance, which it's not ideal, but it does help us reach that crit chance cap, which is not bad, I guess. Adaptive instincts. Hitting 30 headshots grants plus 20% crit chance. I wouldn't worry about that too much. And 50% critical hit damage, which is why we are hitting such high numbers for 45 seconds. Hitting 75 body shots grants plus 90% weapon damage. That's incremental damage, but it's very that's quite a lot. Hitting 30 leg shots grants 150% reload speed. That is a form of DPS, by the way, but I, I wouldn't really focus on hitting headshots, guys, not at all. So this gun is quite good. Honestly, that's amazing. Like I said before, the accuracy is not very good. The damage drop-off is quite bad. So it's, you know, to be honest, that's why we want to get up close and personal to the NPCs. Secondary weapon, whatever you want, and pistol, you can go for whatever you would like. So if we take a look at the statistics, what have we got here? We've got 58 crit chance, 131, plus another 50. So we have quite a decent amount of critical hit damage. The regen's baseline is 30,000, uh, which is, you know, which doesn't really matter because when we use the memento, we will be stacking it up. Let's go through the build now. We've got two pieces, which gives us armor regeneration, one armor damage, Fenris, Baseline, Assault Rifle Damage, and then some extra Critical Hit Damage. So the Mask, we have got Belston Armory, which gives us 1% Armor Regen. Survivability is quite important in this game, especially in the Summit. You don't want to have to proc all your armor kits and you run out pretty quickly. So we have got Armor Regen, Crit Chance, Critical Hit Damage. Every single modification on my build is Critical Hit Damage, 12% or 11.8. I need to get a third 12%. Unfortunately, I cannot find it. So... Chest piece, assault rifle damage, quite simple. Crit damage, crit chance, that's the whole point of this build. So make sure you try and get, well, this is a god roll chest piece, so hopefully you guys have something similar. Intimidate, so whenever we pick up a trophy, we will be getting intimidate, which is great. Uh, it's quite powerful that this is actually multiplicative amplified damage. This will scale off of the increments from the chameleon, which is quite nice. Uh, this is within 10 meters, so that's why we're going to get up close and personal, you know, not struggling from range, especially with the chameleon's uh, quite bad accuracy. So with the holster, more critical hit damage, crit chance, crit damage with Grupo, quite simple. Then the gloves, we have got armor damage, uh, contractors with critical hit chance. And then the knee pads, we have got yield faithful Empress God for that extra 1%. The best way to get, you know, only, well, only putting two pieces of gear on your build will give you 2% armor region, which scales off of your base on armor, which is very good because we have got 1.3 million. So critical hit damage, knee pads, it's quite difficult to get ones like this, but hopefully you guys can. 
So we've got 1.3 million armor. That's up to you if you need more damage, go for that. But remember, the armor region scales off of your armor value. So if I go 1.5, I will be tankier, way tankier, not only just tankier, but be able to su suppress more damage and regen a lot faster, which is nice, especially if you get put on the status effect. But that's completely up to you. you I would recommend if you want more damage, 1.1 mil. Don't go less than that, though. And then if you want 1.5, that'll be great. But you will be doing quite a bit less damage. So let's go through the memento and how it works. Weapon damage, armor, and skill tier, which is great. That's going to help our drone and our shield. Kill confirmed. So I'm sure you guys know how this works. We get short-term buffs, weapon damage, bonus armor, which is going to proc, intimidate, and then skill efficiency. So we have got, for every trophy collected, an additional 1% weapon damage, up to 30%, which goes on top of all the other sources of weapon damage that we do have. Skill efficiency. Now, skill efficiency is quite important because that gives our... Sh defender drone and our shield a lot of health which means they are a lot stronger up to 2 million health on our shield and our drone can tank a lot more damage as well so armor region we will accumulate to about three percent so that's three four that's five percent armor region from this build that's why i can reach those high numbers so that's how the build works let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i will go through the statistics again if you want to read through them just pause the video and go through it uh, hopefully you did enjoy the gameplay the last time I tried this build, I used obl well, Obliterate on the chest piece. It didn't really work that well. Uh, I feel like Intimidate is the best way to utilize this. Maybe if you wanted to use a different AR from longer ranges, then that would work. So that's how I would change this up if you didn't want to use this gun. Maybe you wanted to use this build just normally. So just go for something else like the FAL or the G36, whatever you may want to use. The FAMAS is very good as well. And then what you could do, like I said before, is change out the chest piece talent and go for something like this, Obliterate, which gives you more weapon damage as well. But obviously the way we have it here, this is the best option. So that being said, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing everybody very soon in the next video. Peace out, guys.